Let's play one, game F6 in the math card game book. The object of this game is to collect the most cards by laying down the final card in a row that makes that row total one. Are you ready to play? Each player receives four cards. The remaining cards form the stockpile. The first player starts a row by placing any card on the table and choosing a card from the stockpile. The next person decides if they have something to complete that row to make one, they would play that. If not, they would start a new row. I don't have one half. I'm going to lay one second. All right, so she's starting a second row, and it's my turn. I don't have one half or one third, so I'm going to put seven eighths in the next row. And again, each time we're going to take one card from their stockpile, so we always have four in our hand. I have one eighth that I can add on to your seven eighths. All right, that makes one whole, so you get to keep those cards. Very good, and take one from the stockpile. Olivia, it's your turn. I don't have one half or one third, so I'm starting another row. Very good. All right, and? I have one half, so I'm going to lay it with Olivia's half, and I'm going to make one whole. Very nice. All right. I have one-third, so I'm going to add it to the one-third that's there. When the children first start this game, they use simple fractions. But as they learn how to play it, they learn how to do more complicated fractions. For instance, why don't you tell us what you just did? I just laid my one-half with a one-fourth. Now, what would you need to complete that row? One-fourth. Excellent. So he's beginning to add fractions of uncommon denominator in his head. If he needed a little help, he could refer to the fraction chart. We always have it available for reference. All right, very good. I have one third and I made a row. All right, so three one thirds complete that row. Excellent job. Okay, now I have the one fourth to finish up this row. Is this really one whole? Two one fourths and one half? <laughs> yes. We all agree. And again, the more cards I get, the better. So I want to finish up one that takes a longer and uses more cards. Tell us what you're doing, please. I laid down a one half with a one eight. What would you need to finish that row? I would need um, one eighth and a one fourth card. All right, you could do it that way. Is there another way he could do it besides one eighth and one fourth? He could have. Three minus. He could have three eighths. So Olivia, if you have either three eighths or one fourth or one eighth, you could add them to that row. If not, you need to start a new row. All right, and what are you putting down? One fifth. One fifth. The game is over when all possible cards have been played. Some rows will not be completed at the end of the game. To see who won the game, we stack our piles for comparison. Good job.